We are back in Italy right now. I'm standing here on the banks of Lake Como and we are so happy to be back. We haven't been in Italy in about a year. We loved it last time and we are so glad to be here. But this is going to be a really short trip. We're only here for about a day or so. We got we arrived yesterday. We went to uh, Como. We had lunch and we were so tired. We just came on back to the, uh, the house here that we're staying in, the villa, whatever you want to call it. And we just we were out last night slept in today we were supposed to have a solid day today but we ended up sleeping in it is almost one o'clock now and we're about to leave the house we're going to be going to Verena we're gonna be going to Bellagio we got to squeeze all these things in really quick and also if we've got time we'll be exploring Menagio which is uh, the close town to us over here so let's get right to this guys we've got to go but let me did y'all see this place I mean this is the villa this is the lake right here and then we've got these gardens all back here behind me there's another garden up top up there. There's all these statues and stuff. This place is absolutely amazing. I wish we had a few more days just to hang out here at the house, but we don't. We're fixing to be heading to Switzerland. Anyway, that's for another video. Today is Lake Como. So this is the gate to get into our house. It is down there, way down. So we have to go down these ramps down here to get to it which is kind of a pain but it's also nice because this place is so secluded we've got this road out here which is actually just a pedestrian road and the only people that drive on this road are people that are in these houses and i think there's only like four or five of them for like a mile up here so it's really secluded and here's our little car got us a little volkswagen crossover for this trip it's been pretty nice a lot of these places you need a compact car so we made it down to menaggio but we missed our ferry because there was no parking down there and we had to park somewhere else so that made us a little bit late so we're here we're either going to eat here or we're going to take a taxi over to verena uh we'll figure it out in just a minute so they have this sign down here by the lake and this is the ferry schedule so i'm just going to show you how it works so this is the trajetto or ferry and we are in Menaggio, departures from Menaggio, going to Verena, and then there's all your times right there. And then whenever we get ready to come back from Verena, let's see, yep, Verena here, and we'll be either heading to Bellagio, depending on time of day, or Menaggio, and we would just pick our times just like that. Works kind of just like a train schedule, realistically. So we ended up just stopping and eating down here in Menaggio, uh, and we are about to head to the ferry terminal now. We're almost at it now. We're walking down the street here. Uh, I think the ferry leaves in about 30 minutes or so, and that'll take us over to Verena. And I know that the kids are definitely going to want to get some gelato at Verena, aren't you? <laughs> so our ship is just pulling up, but really quickly I wanted to tell you guys, if you come here uh, to Lake Como, they do have an excellent ferry service that runs all over the lake to all the destinations and everything. But the website is not easy to understand if you don't speak Italian. If you speak Italian, I'm sure it's very easy, but it's one of those websites, even when it's translated into English, it's not very easy. But I got over here to the ticket counter, which was back over here, and they have that at all the ferry terminals, and they had all the timetables listed. I told them where I wanted to go, and initially she was going to sell me a ticket, and we have four, uh, two adults, two kids. And she said, well, where all are you going today? And I told her, you know, we wanted to go to Verena and then Bellagio, and then we'd be coming back. And she said that I would be, uh, I would come out a lot cheaper if I did a family ticket, which is basically a pass for the day for the whole family. And so the reason I'm saying this is if you come here, go to the ticket office, talk to them, see the timetables, take a picture of the timetables, that way you have it for later in case you lose Wi-Fi or lose internet connection. But also when you buy your ticket, tell them where all you're going because it might make more sense to get you like a day pass instead of buying single tickets at each ferry terminal uh, like it was in this case. here in the back lanes of Verena and we just walked up the first thing I wanted to do was go up to the train station and talk to them uh, because tomorrow we're heading over to Switzerland to Interlaken and I honestly don't even know how we're getting there yet I haven't picked the train schedule or anything uh, so we need to sort all that out we'll be dropping off our rental car in Milan and then we'll be heading to Interlaken from there the thing is it only took us about 10 minutes to walk up there and do this which was fine with us you know we get to see Verena Megan gets her steps in on our Fitbit <laughs> and uh, we get to go up there. So the thing I was, I was wanting to say is when you're doing travel like this, don't feel like you have to have everything planned out and structured 
you know, down to the detail. Sometimes I plan it down to the detail, but sometimes it's nice just to come here like this and just walk up there, get a little bit of information, figure out what you're doing for the next day, and then go from there. We found a little beachhead here so the kids can dip their feet. They don't have their bathing suits, but they can get their feet wet in this water. We're at food stop number two for the day, and I'm sure this won't be the last. <laughs> Not only is this food stop number two of the day, it's pizza margarita <laughs> number two on the day. So since we had a short day today, our time in Brenna is cut a little bit short, but we did finish it up walking on this nice walkway that they have over here by the lake. And this is a really cool walkway. It actually goes a long way. Uh, there's some villas that you can tour. There's a museum and stuff like that. It's, it's a really nice thing. So if you're coming here, look for this walkway. It's right next to the dock where the ferry pulls up and it leads south of town. It's a really cool spot. Right now it's beautiful. It's springtime. There's flowers everywhere. Our ferry is pulling up, the one that's going to take us to Bellagio. So we're fixing to hop on the ferry and we'll head over there where we're only going to have like one hour and then we'll catch the last ferry out of there that's going to get us back to the house. Strolling through Bellagio and the thing is this town is not about tourist attractions and ancient ruins and things like that It's just about strolling and seeing I mean, it's, it's got all these shops. It's an overpriced shopping destination Honestly is what it is, but we're just kind of strolling around because it is one of those places that it's like if you're gonna be here You have to see this and they do have one attraction and that is the Duomo which is right here in front of me oh, of course. Yeah, Duomo. you know, I'm not gonna pass one of those yeah. though. I have to see every single one that we pass by to food stop number three and I think four will be coming soon. Yeah, Justin's had it again. This is his favorite thing limoncello. to do. Now I always take a sip of limoncello out of respect for the limoncello connoisseurs here, but then I end up putting it in my glass and then I put some Coke or Coke Zero if I have it right in there and it makes it amazing. So just a little note about pricing earlier, I said that Bellagio is a high price uh, compared to a lot of the other places around here. So earlier y'all saw a stop in Verena and we got the pizza and a few drinks and that was like 15.50 uh, in euros. So like 17 bucks or something in USD. But we just stopped over here and we had uh, a few drinks and the cheesecake and that was like almost $40. So the prices over here are roughly double both. Both restaurants were right by the water and all that. So similar experiences, but roughly twice the price. I just wanted to close out this vlog. It's evening time. It's fixing to get really dark here. It actually looks pretty bright in the camera, but I feel like it's fixing to get dark. We're back in Menaggio. We had dinner again. Yes, that was our fourth time at the restaurant today. That's just what you do in Italy, you know? But we did have an amazing time today, and I really wish that we had more time here, though I do feel that way about every place that we go to, I think. But this is one of those places. We only have one real day here, one solid day. And since it was our first day here, we ended up oversleeping just from jet lag and stuff. So I really do wish that we had more time, but uh, Menaggio, uh, Verena and Bellagio were very good. Lake Como is absolutely beautiful. I know it didn't do it justice when it was on the camera. It was absolutely beautiful here. And it's the kind of place you could spend several days just sitting and looking. Like I said, it's not that there's so many tourist attractions and ancient sites and you know historic things, but it's just absolutely beautiful. But we're gonna be on to Switzerland tomorrow, so be sure to check back for those vlogs and I'll see you on the next one.